even if the shit that fi- backfired on me. You know what what everybody, backfired on you? You know how everybody used to get their, because I did that interview with fucking uh, one of them bloggers on the internet after he died. Okay. And he twisted my story. Oh, he twisted my story. He learned, He made me learn how to talk. And, uh, you know, then it's a whole thing where Rain had something to do when with it. That was what I was hearing when it first yeah, popped yeah, off. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Is it really a, like, when you look back at from that time when he got when he got killed on the interstate to, to now, and you know already that you went through something. You know, I talked to Bobo when mm-hmm. PMC died. He didn't do an interview, talk to nobody for about eight, nine years. Mm-hmm. Went through my divorce. That's a lot. Started going through my divorce. Um, Pimp died. That's a lot. And then my mom got diagnosed with... Um, diabetes, and Alzheimer's at that time, or dementia at that yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So all that happened to me in oh. that year, 2007. Wow. Yeah, all all in that second quarter, and in that, in that fourth quarter of the year. Everything pop, 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 pop hit me. And I'm not knowing. That's before people start talking about depression. Yeah, yeah, nobody you know talking about mental illness. Well, they are, but they're not, not in the black community. Not in the right. black community. Yeah, I know. That's, That's so men. true. But you've been out here trying to move within the situation. How much did it affect you the way that you, you know, the way that you make the moves that you make? Do you see now, like, dang, I did that, but I know I was in maybe in a state of depression or some kind of way it affected you in a way to where you wouldn't have normally made that decision? Because it's hard to make decisions under that type of circumstance. Like what? Like any, whether it be with the artist, whether it be with the label, whether it be with the situation. I, I believe I, I believe every situation that I did with Mo3, I, it counted. Even if the shit that fi- backfired on me. You know what what backfired on you? You know how everybody used to get their, because I did that interview with fucking uh, one of them bloggers on the internet after he died. Okay. And he twisted my story. Oh, he twisted my story. He learned, he made me learn how to talk. And, uh, you know, then it's a whole thing where, Rain had something to do when with it. That was what I was hearing when it first yeah, popped yeah, off, yeah, but then yeah. it you you spiraled it and cleaned it around to what it really to me I what just, it really is I, now. I, I of just course. I just kept it real, you know what I'm saying? Then people started realizing, you know what I'm saying, what was going on. But you know, that was the testimony that was the test and God tested me through the whole situation. How did that affect you when you heard people saying that? Man, it made me mad to try to cuss everybody out. You were getting on the internet fighting with the man. Fighting, but it helped me, you know, but you know, at the end of the day then it started people start you know, I blew up all the blo- YouTube bloggers. Oh, up. you came through yeah. like nobody's business, yeah. getting on yeah. talking on lives. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So, but it helped the music. Yeah. It made the streams go skyrocket high. Then it died. It kind of died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It kind of died because at the end of the day, even even people was even tuned in to everything I say, even from the artists he signed. Yeah. They they they, 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 okay, well, they got to see both three had some artists and this and that. People were tuned into outlet, so you know, at the end of the day, then it kind of died. Yeah. Now he finna drop an album. I got sixty days. I'm gonna crank it back up. I mean, you was challenged in so many ways. Whether it was like, like I remember at the zoo getting into an argument. I don't even know the dude it was, but it's just, just it was it was just to see you going through all that and then like I say me being a person who look at a person and I look at I'm looking from a spiritual standpoint a lot of times and I'll be looking at the like damn you know I know you just lost your homeboy but you still having to deal with everyday life circumstances with different individuals and 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 it's a place where damn like you got you had to be tough to go through those times that's all I'm saying nah, God mentally me. cause a nigga will crash shot yeah, God you know what I'm saying <laughs> God, Am I right though? But God put you, God, God prepared me for this. Yeah. God prepared me for all that. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, it never got to a point where I was like, y'all can't take this shit no more. You see what I'm saying? Nah, hell nah. It, it, was, it, it was, okay, it was challenging to me. See, I, I'm all about challenges. I mean, you know, I, I play, I, I played sports growing up. Yeah. I always wanted to be number one, and I always wanted to be, uh, people around me be number one. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.